Hey everyone, this is Nate with My Liberty Homestead. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be moving on with our simple cider series. Today we're going to be making a maple cider. So we're going to be using organic maple syrup with a gallon of cider. And uh, we're going to be using what's called the balm method. So I talked about this in one of the other mead videos. If you haven't watched it, I'll leave a link to it below. Um, I, what the balm method is, is B-O-M-M. -M. And that stands for braise one month mead. And it also works great for cider. So we're actually going to be using an ale yeast and uh, a certain nutrient regimen to go ahead and get this to uh, drinkable and enjoyable within one month. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. All right, so here's a closer look at our ingredients today. So again, we're going to be using another gallon jug of the uh, Mott's apple juice and the organic maple syrup. The cheapest place I've found to get this is actually at Sam's Club. Um, now, you can get it on Amazon, it is quite a bit more expensive, so if you have a Sam's Club near you and you have a membership, I'd recommend getting there. I believe this, uh, how much is in here? This is two pounds. Uh, I believe it's ten dollars, if I remember rightly. So it's a pretty good deal for maple syrup, and uh, like I said, we're going to be using the uh, USO5, which is an ale yeast. Um, so like I said, this is the BOM method, that's B-O-M-M. So uh, what we're also going to need then is our yeast nutrient, which is DAP and Fermax. Now, if you have Fermaid K, this is a real similar uh, yeast nutrient. You can use inter either one just about interchangeably. So we're going to go ahead and get those added in at the end. And we're going to go ahead and get our space taken out of our jug, enough to fit one pound of the maple syrup. So we'll get that done and we'll see you there. All right, so we've got the space taken out of our uh, gallon jug, so we're gonna go ahead and add one pound of our maple syrup. Looks like this has started to harden up a little bit. It's been uh, been here for a little while. All right, perfect, we went just a little over, but that's all right. So one pound and 0.4 ounces, so that's not too bad. We're gonna go ahead and add one half teaspoon of Fermax or Fermaid K if you have that nutrient and then a quarter teaspoon of DAP. So we're gonna go ahead and add these right now up front, and then we're also gonna go ahead and add these at the two-third and one-third sugar break. So I explained that in another video. The two-third sugar break is where one-third of the sugar is gone, and alternatively, where at the one-third sugar break is where two-thirds of the sugar is gone. So if our specific gravity was 1.090, the one-third sugar break would be at 1.060, and the two-third sugar break would be at 1.030. So we're going to go ahead and get our yeast nutrients added in, and then we'll go ahead and pitch our rehydrated yeast. Alright, so we now have all of our nutrients mixed up and dissolved. We're going to go ahead and add our uh, yeast, which has already been rehydrated. Give it a little swirl here to make sure we get it all. And give it one last good shake. All right, so now all that's left to do is get a specific gravity reading, and we'll test our pH, and we'll be done. We'll go ahead and slap a balloon on here, and, and we'll get fermenting. All right, looks like we are at 1.072 for our initial starting gravity. And we're gonna go ahead and get our pH reading. All right, it looks like we're at 4.18. Okay, so that's it guys. We have our specific gravity reading. We have our uh, pH. We've added our yeast nutrients, and we've also added our rehydrated yeast in. Again, we were using the Safael US05. So now all that's left to do is get a balloon on, and we'll get fermenting. All right, that's it for today, guys. Really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Also, check out the blog, mylibertyhomestead.com. I've got all the specifics on the nutrient regimen and uh, what we did today and, and where you can find everything online. And that's all going to be at the website. So, again, if you have any feedback or uh, any questions or comments, whatever it may be, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, guys.